Alright, so welcome back guys, and welcome to this your first time here. I'm Vision here with Blind Entertainment, bringing you guys in our video. Today I'm going to be talking about the latest kind of mini trailer to drop for The Walking Dead Season 9B. Re it revealed a lot of good stuff with Beta, Lydia, and Alpha. So if The Walking Dead is something you're interested in, don't forget to subscribe down below and hit that bell icon. That way you don't miss any more Walking Dead content from me in the future. Now let's begin. So, the trailer starts off right where the original one kind of started off with them bringing a uh, captured Lydia back. Her mask is off and her she's got a blindfold on. Her hands are bound on top of the horse and Michonne's leading her through. Really cool trailer. This trailer dropped probably I think maybe less than an hour ago on on AMC's YouTube page. So I saw it on Twitter probably about an hour ago. But it's really cool. It gives us a quick montage look as they kind of bring her in you got daryl and michonne who bring her in and lock her in the cage they show them discarding her mask it's real a really cool quick intro to the lydia character really really cool i think they definitely are kicking it out of the ballpark right away with some of the whisper stuff i do to an extent will continue to say i do kind of wish they would have kind of tampered down so that the, some of the promotional stuff for the whispers i feel like they kind of did a little overkill of it i'm not totally mad i get what they're going for but i do wish they had kind of just tampered it down a bit because i feel like they just i feel like they were afraid that people were not going to watch the walking dead so they overhauled it f due to fear of viewership dropping due to rick's departure but overall really cool trailer especially the opening right off the bat Next, we got a shot of Lydia with her mask on. Now, I gotta say, this is one creepy picture. Like, it is super creepy. I really like what they're doing. Some of the details with the mask. The eyes, again, always are creepy looking, like with Alpha. Really cool. I know you, some people might say, how do you know this is Lydia? Well, if you look closely, you can kind of see the little, her sh purple shirt underneath. You can even see it in the trailer. That's kind of iconic from the comics. She had a kind of like purple I don't know what you'd call t-shirt or something on. It's uh, even on her figure. So I would say that it would have to be her. It's just an iconic kind of shirt to her, I think. But the mask is really cool. Greg Nicotero, again, kicking it out of the ballpark with his creations for the Whispers. Just a really cool design. And can't wait to see the character be brought to life in the second half of the rest of the season. Next, we got a shot of Carol and Ezekiel. I'm not totally sure what's going on with them this season. I feel like Ezekiel has been very much underutilized during the first half. And depending on how to utilize him in the second half, I'm questioning if he'll be on the border wall. I'll have that video coming out very soon with my predictions for who will be on the border wall. But right off the bat, I'm questioning what they're doing with Ezekiel. He's in the opening credits, but yet he was only in a few episodes in the first half. If he's going to be on that border wall, he better be in just about every episode in the second half. Otherwise, I'm questioning if he will even be on it at all. Because I feel like for a big main character like Ezekiel to not be shown but then end up on the border wall would be questionable. So I'm not sure what they're doing here with him. We know the fair is taking place in Kingdom. They'll probably be getting ready the second half for the fair, which will probably start maybe episode 14 or 15. And I'm just very interested to see what they do with him because I feel like they need to utilize him more, especially if they're going to give him his iconic comic death. Next, we got a shot of Tara and Magna's group. Now, from what we hear in the trailer, it sounds like they're going to be going on some kind of like recon mission to like spy on and get more information on the Whispers. Now, this is very interesting because, of course, Tara is an original TV character. And I don't think, if I remember correctly, I don't think they did this in the comic where they had people doing, like, recon. But I, I could be mistaken. I haven't gone back and read this recently. But I'm not sure. I know there's a lot of people talking about how Tara is the new leader of Hilltop and all this stuff. How she's safe because of that. I will not classify Tara as safe. I did a whole other video talking about how Daryl, I believe, is the new leader of Hilltop. Check out that video. It's on the channel already. I'll maybe add a thumbnail here to, so you can check that out as well. But I do not believe that Tara will be the new leader of Hilltop. And I'm interested to see what kind of role she'll be taking in the second half of the season. 
So what we got what I believe is probably going to be a lot of people's favorite scenes from the trailer. It's kind of mine, but not totally. It is a close-up shot of Beta with his mask on. Really cool kind of image here. Now my prediction here is this is kind of him when he's searching for Lydia. Maybe he's just doing patrol. And this is where he runs into Daryl. The building he's in kind of looks similar to that kind of building. But also if you look at the the photo you can kind of see some other people there so i'm curious to see if beta will have other people assisting him in the fight against daryl or maybe he'll tell him to stand back and he'll handle daryl i'm not sure really cool shot though just a nice up close image of beta it's kind of distorted due to some pixelation but still a really cool shot i understand why people would like it and are interested to, uh, and excited to see the character come onto the show and come to life and see Ryan Hurst bring the character to life. I am too. It's just, I've deuced to some of the distilled images. It's not one of my all time favorite moments of the trailer. Next, we got a nice close up shot of Lydia. Now I gotta say, I really like just from this one shot here, the actress who's playing Lydia. I think she actually does fit the part. I understand where fans are mad that she's not this blonde girl. I can understand fans who are mad at the, like, actual Lydia, the likeness of her, isn't being brought to the screen. However, in my opinion, if the actress brought a good job, did a good job in the, in the, where she came in and, you know, rehearsed her lines or whatever, if she did a, like, a knockout job, I'm fine with that. I don't care if they don't look exactly like it. If she's, she's, what, brown or black hair in the, in the show... I don't care. It's a Lydia. It, should, it shouldn't matter if she has blonde, black, brunette, or orange hair for all that matters. Like, she's a Lydia. It's still the same character, just it's hair. And I think all the people complaining about that, it's just kind of silly. But moving on to her in the trailer, because you hear her say, Oh, you, but you're, you're lucky you don't know where my mom is, or whatever. Something that that effect. And then you see Daryl asking her, you know, where is she? And she says, you know, you're lucky you don't know. And I really like that. It ends with her saying that. It's a very cool, creepy, kind of ominous ending. And you can see some shots of Daryl there. And you see him camping out, I think. I think he's camping out. And he's spying on them. And then it, the trailer all ends where you got... Alpha from what is my favorite shot of the trailer, her iconic shot where she comes up to someone and kind of holds out and aims her double barreled shotgun at someone. And that's where in the comic she says, don't move. Now, it's very confusing in the trailer to me who she's actually aiming the shotgun at because it makes you think that she's aiming it at Daryl. Now, that's very well possible she could be aiming it at Daryl. But also you see a shot of Luke and Alden from the original trailer. And you see Alpha in the background similar to that same trailer. So it's very confusing to me who she's actually going to be pointing the shotgun at. Will it be Daryl? Will it be Luke and Alden? I'm not totally sure. I feel like it could. it's one or the other. But I'm excited to see this scene be brought to life. It's one of my favorite scenes from the comics. And I'm just really excited to see what goes down when we, The Walking Dead returns for its second half on... February 10th. Oh yeah guys, those are my quick thoughts and opinions regarding The Walking Dead new trailer that was released earlier today. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share. And don't forget to subscribe down below and hit that bell icon. That way you don't miss some more Walking Dead content from me in the future. This has been Vision here with Blind Entertainment and I'll see you next time.